Scientists estimate there are as many as 8.7 million different species of animals on our planet, from the tiniest insects to the largest mammals. There's no denying, though, that there are some species that are far more appealing to humans than others, like fluffy cats and bushy-tailed dogs. But today we'll be taking a look at animals you won't find in the house, so here are 15 of the cutest rare and exotic animals. Number 15. Honduran White Bat Of the estimated 1,300 species of bats that are found worldwide, only six are known to have white fur, and by far the cutest of them all is the Honduran White Bat. It's native to Central America in Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. It's an unusually small species that grows to just 1.9 inches, or just under 5 centimeters long. With bright white fur all over their bodies, they have orange nose leaves, ears, and lips, and are the only mammals known to have a high enough level of carotenoids to develop a color like this. Living in jungle regions, Honduran white bats are frugivores and actually mainly only eat the fruits of one particular species of fig tree, so can often be found nesting in close proximity to those trees. Rather than searching for a natural recess to nest in, they're one of the 22 species of bat that build nests for themselves out of leaves. And by the way that they cut the edges of the leaves of the heliconia plant, they build tents that become home to between 1 and 15 individuals. This provides protection from the weather and from predators, and each group will have several tents in an area that they can move between. What's clever about these nests is the way that the sunlight shines through them and makes the bat's fur appear green, which further camouflages them and makes them even more difficult for predators to spot. Number 14. Pygmy Marmoset Found in the rainforests of the western Amazon basin in Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia, the pygmy marmoset is the smallest species of monkey and one of the tiniest primates in the whole world. Often found in trees lining riverbanks through the rainforest, they can be incredibly difficult to spot because their bodies only grow to the size of around 6 inches, with a tail that itself can be up to 9 inches. They're covered in fur that ranges from brownish gold, gray, and black to yellow, orange, and tawny, and have black rings along their tails with white specks on their faces. As they've evolved for a lifetime spent almost entirely in the trees, they've developed a number of traits that help them in this environment, such as the ability to rotate their heads more than 180 degrees, extremely sharp nails that allow them to firmly grip to wood, and specialized teeth that enable them to chew into tree bark to both feed on the sap and also on the insects that are attracted to the presence of the gum that's produced. While you may not see them at first, you'll always know if you're near to a pygmy marmoset in the wild because of their calls. They have a highly developed communication system with one another, and you'll hear their trills and various other calls echoing out to each other where food sources are and to warn others of approaching dangers. Number 13. Japanese Weasel Native to the Japanese island of Honshu, Kyushu, and Shikoku, and having been introduced to regions elsewhere in the country too, the Japanese weasel is closely related to the Siberian weasel, but have developed traits that are specifically suited to life in a very different climate to their relatives. Their bodies grow to around 14 inches long, and their tails are a further 6.5 inches, and they develop a stunningly smooth coat of fur that's orangey-brown in color. These slender animals typically live in either mountainous or forested regions nearby to water sources, and they're the ideal places for them to hunt prey such as mice, reptiles, frogs, insects, and fish. Japanese weasels will hunt throughout the day or night, with a diet that changes throughout the year depending on what's available. And they're seen as a very important species that helps protect woodlands, thanks to the way they prey upon animals that would typically gnaw at the roots of tree saplings, particularly during the winter. They are, however, themselves the prey of a number of other animals, including humans, who have traditionally caught them for their fur, so have a cautious and avoidant temperament that will see them run for cover at the first sign of danger. Number 12. Fennec Fox There are 12 known species of fox around the world that are present on every continent apart from Antarctica. Most people are familiar with red foxes, of which there are 47 subspecies, and while they may be stunning animals in their own right, there's one species that's native to regions across the Sahara Desert, Egypt, and Israel that's far cuter. Known as the fennec fox, they're the smallest of all foxes and tend to grow to a length of about 15 and a half inches, along with a tail that can measure up to 10 inches long. With light, straw-colored fur, a black nose, and a tapered tail that's black at the tip, they're well adapted to the hot environment that they live in, and this is the reason why they've developed their most notable feature. 
their ears can be as much as four inches long, and as well as allowing them to detect the sound of potential prey from a long distance away and even underground, this also allows them to dissipate heat more effectively. They're normally found around small sand dunes and regions with sparse vegetation, live in dens that have been dug into the sand, and will spend their entire lives in the desert. As opportunistic feeders, they have a varied diet, from rodents, lizards, and birds, to eggs and fruit. They mainly gain moisture from their prey, rather than relying on finding the rare water sources in the desert. Their cute appearance has meant that their fur has long been prized by communities in the region, and in recent years they've also become popular exotic pets in countries around the world, although of course they're far happier when they're left in their natural environment. Number 11. Patagonian Mara Almost easily mistaken for a rabbit, the Patagonian mara is actually a species of rodent that, as the name would suggest, is native to the open expanses of Patagonia, as well as southern Argentina. Growing to a length of around 30 inches, they look very similar to a jackrabbit with long ears and legs, and have a covering of gray, white, black, and orange fur. Active mainly during the day, they're herbivores and spend at least half of their time foraging for food. They're normally found in places that have plenty of shrub cover, which provides a perfect hiding place when they need to evade danger, and also means there's a good variety of food for them to feast on. Maras are monogamous animals, but also develop a complex community where several breeding pairs may share the same den, with one study finding a warren that was home to 29 pairs. These communities will also work together to protect their young and keep watch over their surroundings, so at the first sign of danger, various different vocalizations can be heard to warn the others to keep to safety. Number 10. Numbat This incredible-looking animal is called a numbat, and it's a type of marsupial that's found in restricted areas across Western Australia. Measuring just 18 inches long, including their bushy tails that account for around half of the total length, they're a terrestrial species that feed almost entirely on termites. They were once found all across the country, but because of habitat loss and human activity, there are only a few pockets of land where they still roam free, and this means they're now classified as an endangered species. Their fur can be a variety of colors, from light gray to reddish brown, but they'll always have a black stripe along the top of their heads and white stripes that run across their bodies. To reach the termites in their mounds, numbats have long, spindly tongues that are coated with a particularly sticky saliva that picks up any insects that make contact with it and then is scraped clean against the firm ridges within their mouths. Amazingly, despite their size, an adult numbat will require on average around 20,000 termites per day to provide the nutrition that it needs. They're also extremely solitary animals that will often violently defend their territory from others of the same sex, and it's only during the breeding season that they'll ever venture further afield and make contact with another individual. So if you ever see a numbat in the wild, it's likely that it's the only one within 370 acres of where you are. Number 9. Pygmy Jerboa When you first see a pygmy jerboa, it's almost hard to believe that this is a real animal, but it most definitely is, and it holds a joint record for being the smallest known species of rodent in the world. Usually weighing no more than a tenth of an ounce, their bodies grow to just 1.7 inches long, with a tail that can measure double that. Native to desert regions of Pakistan and occasionally seen in nearby countries such as Afghanistan, one of the reasons for their size is that they're perfectly adapted to survival in the harsh, dry environment. Pygmy jerboas are only active at night when it's cooler and hop across the sand dunes in search of seeds or the leaves of a few plant species that grow in the desert. They'll lift morsels of food up with their hands and can live for a surprisingly long time without much nutrition because of a process called facultative hypothermia, whereby their bodily processes are able to slow down to preserve energy. Quite how many there are in the wild isn't known because of how difficult they are to track down and study, but what is known is that each breeding pair will normally produce litters of up to four younglings each year. Number 8. Taper mainly found across Central and South America, but with one species known to live in Southeast Asia too. Tapers are a type of herbivorous animal that look a lot like pigs, but are far cuter. There are four known species in total, each of which have slightly different colorations and markings, and all of which are classified as being either endangered or vulnerable. Normally growing to around six and a half feet long and weighing up to 700 pounds, they have short fur coats, oval-shaped ears, and feet that are adapted to help them walk across soft and mushy ground. 
The most unusual feature of a taper, however, is its proboscis at the tip of the nose. Similar to the trunk of an elephant, this is an extremely flexible organ that can move around in any direction needed and can be used to grab onto food that would otherwise be inaccessible. While you normally see them walking along forest floors in search of food, tapers also behave in a surprising way when they find large sources of water. They'll happily swim in it, often to cool down or hide from predators, but will also sink to the bottom and walk along the riverbed in search of food, while at the same time allowing fish to pick the parasites off their bodies. Number 7. Slow Loris Slow lorises are a group of incredibly cute primates that are native to the jungle regions of Southeast Asia, but you shouldn't ever get too close to one because they're the only known species of primate that are venomous. With round heads, narrow snouts, huge cartoon-like eyes, and a range of different colors depending on the exact species, their legs and arms are virtually the same length, and they have a pincer-like grip that allows them to hold onto branches for extended periods of time. Their main form of defense in the wild is to simply avoid detection altogether, and to do this they're able to move through the jungle canopy in virtual silence. You'll often only be aware of a nearby slow loris because it has chosen to reveal itself, and this only happens if they've decided that they need to defend their territory. Very little is known about their societal structure because they're so difficult to observe in their natural environment, but rather than being used to hunt, their toxin is thought to be a means of resolving disputes with other slow lorises. The toxins produced in a gland in the armpit, which they lick, and then once it combines with their saliva, it's activated and ready to be administered to their target. Unfortunately, the main reason why slow loris numbers have plummeted is because of their popularity in the exotic wildlife trade, something that's illegal in most places and is terrible for their well-being. While captive ones may look cute, their docile nature is actually a defensive reaction to a situation they feel to be threatening. Number 6. Wallaby Originally native to Australia and New Guinea, but now having been introduced elsewhere in the world like the UK, Hawaii, and New Zealand, wallabies are a type of medium-sized marsupial that are closely related to kangaroos. There are actually 49 different species of wallaby that are around today, with the main difference being their size and the habitats that they live in. On average, wallabies tend to grow to around 41 inches tall, with a tail that can be up to 30 inches long. But the smallest, the dwarf wallaby, grows to just 18 inches long, from the tip of their nose to the end of their tail. As an herbivorous animal, they will eat a wide range of different grasses, vegetables, and leaves, and will often cover huge distances in search of food and water in the Australian outback. With powerful hind legs, they're able to run at fast speed and jump to surprising heights to evade danger, but they're also able to use them to deliver a powerful kick as last means of defense. Despite being at risk from foxes, cats, and dingoes in the wild, it's mainly humans that pose the biggest danger to wallabies after hunting them for their fur and meat, and as a result, they are classified as being at risk. Number 5. Elephant Shrew Found in regions across the southern half of the African continent, elephant shrews are an amazing type of small mammal that spend their lives in search of insects. There are at least 20 known species, and they get their name because of their extended noses and the way that the rest of their bodies look like those of shrews. But they're not actually related to true shrews at all, and are in fact more genetically similar to elephants. Growing to a maximum size of around 11 and a half inches, but usually much smaller, they're one of the fastest mammal species in relation to their size, with the ability to run at speeds of up to 17.9 miles per hour. What's unusual about them is that they aren't particularly fussy about where they live and can be found in the desert just as much as they're found in jungles. But wherever they live, they'll live in monogamous pairs that build underground burrows or use leaf nests. Their preferred prey includes insects, spiders, centipedes, and worms, and they hunt in a similar way to an anteater by using their noses to find where the prey is, and then will use their long tongues to flick it into their mouths. Number 4. Pangolin Often referred to as scaly anteaters, there are eight different species of pangolin that are found across Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa. 
growing to between 12 and 39 inches long, they're mostly known for their natural armor that covers their skin with a series of keratin scales, and are made from a similar material to our fingernails. Depending on the particular species, they may live in burrows or even hollow tree stumps and live on a diet of ants and termites. This is why they have such long tongues, which allow them to delve deep within the burrow to retrieve as many insects as possible. Pangolins are solitary animals and will rarely want to encounter another of their own kind, except for during mating season. It takes a number of years for an infant to become an adult and able to breed, and while this contributes to their fragile population numbers, the real threat to pangolins is human activity. Because of the way they look, they're in high demand as exotic pets, and they're also sought after for their meat and scales that are used in various traditional medicines. As a result of this, they're believed to be the most trafficked type of animal worldwide, and combined with the effects of habitat destruction, they're now very much at risk, with all eight species being classed as vulnerable or critically endangered. Number 3. Sugar Glider If you're ever walking through the coastal forests of Queensland or New South Wales in Australia, then it's worth keeping your eye on the sky, because you may well see one of these amazing animals leaping between the branches of the canopy. Known as sugar gliders, they're a species of marsupial, and more specifically, a possum, that have developed a series of traits that allow them to quickly move through forests to track down sources of sugary tree sap or nectar. Growing to around 12 inches long from the noses to the tip of their tails, they have soft fur coats that are normally blue-gray in color with black stripes. With a heart rate of up to 300 beats per minute, they need to keep up their intake of sugary substances and despite being good climbers, this simply wouldn't be enough. They therefore have membranes called patagia, which extend from their front legs to their rear legs, and by stretching these out, they're able to leap from a high space and glide to somewhere else, whether to find more food or as an extremely effective method of fleeing predators. Number 2. Goody Sapphire Ornamental when you're thinking of the cutest animals, spiders aren't likely to have been one of the first animals that spring to mind. But the goody sapphire ornamental isn't your typical arachnid, and there's no denying that they are a spectacular creature. Native to just one small region of forest in the central Indian state of Andhra Pradesh, it's a type of tarantula that grows to a size of around 8 inches across and is covered in hairs that are surprisingly blue in color. Amazingly, they may also appear to change appearance, too, and that's because their hairs are iridescent and will reflect a different color depending on the angle you're looking at them from. While this may produce a beautiful display for us, it's thought that there's far more importance to their coloration than simply aesthetics, or even camouflage, because of the way that spiders perceive color suggests that it's integral to their choice of mate. This may not be an animal that appeals to everyone, but for those who like spiders, it's easily one of the cutest, something that's contributed to their downfall. The demand for these tarantulas by collectors around the world means they're now critically endangered, and it's believed that there are far more in captivity than there are in the wild. Number 1. Emperor Tamarin Most monkey species are cute in their own way, but if you're after the most unusual and adorable, then you need look no further than the Emperor Tamarin. Native to the southwest Amazon basin in Peru, Bolivia, and Brazil, they grow to around 10 inches long, with a tail that adds a further 16 inches to that. There are actually two subspecies, the black-chinned Emperor Tamarin and the bearded Emperor Tamarin, with the main difference being the color of their fur. Being mainly gray in color with black hands and feet and a brown tail, both types of Emperor Tamarin grow spectacular long white mustaches, and in the case of the bearded Emperor Tamarin, a long white beard too. Due to the threat of these species from habitat loss, it's quite common to see Emperor Tamarins at larger zoos around the world in an attempt at conservation, and wherever they are kept, they're one of the most popular exhibits. Known as graceful, playful, and highly energetic animals, they're constantly playing with and grooming each other, and are a real joy to watch. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.